This demonstration will introduce how to import your resume using Hub One Enterprise Profile Management. Once I've opened Enterprise Profile Management, I go to the Wizards menu and choose Import Resume. I click Next at the Wizard and choose the format of my resume, USA as the default. I then browse my resume file. We support um, over 60 different types of resumes, um, so PDFs, Word docs, you name it. Um, so I'm going to import my LinkedIn profile information, actually. And what the system will then do is it will convert the document into a text-based format and then convert it into something we call HR XML, which is an XML format used in the HR industry. Once it's been converted to HRXML, the system will then parse the data out and create various objects for enterprise profile management, your experience, skills, education, and some personal information. That will then be applicable and available for you to edit. Once we've imported that data, we'll demonstrate how to edit. Okay, my profile's imported, so what I'm going to do now is um, go into my experience section and see how the import went. Well, it got most things right, but down the bottom I can see it missed a couple of company names. So I'll just double click on the entry, move up to the company, and enter the company name. Here I was a support engineer at a company called CDP Sigma. And if I scroll down to the bottom again, double click on this, an IT systems administrator job at a company called Safri Chambers. So I'll click OK, that set up my experience. I'll now go and sort out my education. Um, being a British education in a US format, it sometimes gets this wrong. So I'll just put in my physics, maths, and chemistry A-levels I received when I was in school. I'll click OK there. Um, I'm going to add an education, which is my ITIL qualification I received from the ISEB and put in the dates I actually achieved that, which was back in 2001. I'll click OK. Now I'm going to put in my um, Microsoft Certified Systems Engineer qualification. I'll just put the institution in there and the date I received that, which was way back in the dawns of time, at least for Microsoft certifications. So I'll click OK there. That will update that information. Now I can put in my achievements if I have some. Um, and for me, I became a member of the Australian Institute of Corporate Directors. And that happened at the beginning of 2009. So I'll update that information. If you wish, you can put in some aspirations or goals. I'm going to add a, a funny one here. I want to live in the Bahamas, preferably on a yacht. Just kidding. So we'll put that in. Um, and then I can go and edit and look at my basic information. Now, some of this came out of Active Directory, and some of this came from my resume import. I'm just going to give myself a nice picture. There I am. Um, give myself a professional headline to say what I'm doing right now. And fill in some specialties, some things which I'm good at. So I'm good at Microsoft System Center, uh, most Microsoft software, C Sharp, development, and agile development. I'll put in the date I'm next available, and we'll say today. And I'll put in my residency and visa status. I can now put in some more information about what I do, for example, my industry. Um, and put in some information about my address. I could put in my contact information, for example, my mobile telephone number, or ways to get hold of me. This is useful if you want people to actually get a hold of you to offer you new positions in your organization. pop in my IP phone, um, and I can go and put more descriptive information about myself if I require in these two fields. I'll click OK. That will save my data. And now my profile is complete. I can then go up and have a look and see what it's come up with as a resume for me. So I'll choose the items I'd like in my resume. I'll change the format of it to be something I like. There we are. 
and I can now see my entire resume with all my different positions, my skills, my education, my achievements and aspirations. So that concludes this session on building a profile. Um, from a resume, I hope you enjoyed watching it today. This functionality is available in Enterprise Edition of Enterprise Profile Management. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day.